what do you attribute the third quarter lull? Is that just having a couple of days off and disengaging? Second quarter lull? Yeah, or? yeah second quarter lull. Yeah. Um, I just thought they outplayed us. First of all, um, you know, I'm so impressed with what the Nets have done. You know, you think about where they've been, you know, and, and what Kenny and Sean Marks inherited in terms of not having a draft pick and trying to piece this thing together. And every time we've played them the last couple of years, they play so hard. And so they've established something there, you know, without being able to accumulate lottery picks, um, the position they're in. So it's really a credit to their organization. They're building something um, out of nothing. And so every time we play them, this happens. With the first game in, in uh, Brooklyn, we were up 28, and they cut it to four. So they never quit. And I think that is what happened in the second quarter. They came after us, and we let our guard down. We started turning the ball over, and it was a game again. I see there's been a pattern with the turnovers, but specifically tonight, what did you see that led to those? Well, um, obviously, um, we get a little careless sometimes, and we, we go for the home run and, instead of the – the easy play. Um, I thought um, David's absence um, affected our rotation a little bit. The second unit that I played to start the second quarter. It's not a group that I've played a whole lot together this year. Maybe not ever. Um, and maybe I'm letting them off the hook um, because they've got to make better decisions with the ball. But you know, we rely on David quite a bit with that group. And we run a lot of stuff through him. And I, I just felt like we were out of sorts with that group right from the beginning. Regarding Jordan, we got the details just now with the extras, but how is he holding up overall? What was his demeanor? He just told me he doesn't think it's serious. It was his right ankle, the, the, not the left, uh, which was the one that has kept him out recently. And he said it was not a serious sprain, so he feels like he's going to be fine. But we'll, we'll take it day by day. Do you maybe either talk to him or do you feel like he may be spooked at some point? From It, it seems like. All these injuries are coming on his kind of high-flying, reckless nature, shot blocking. You want that out of him, but it seems like it may lead to those situations. Do you even say anything? I mean, he's got to do what he does. You know, he's got to play the way he he plays. And uh, I didn't see the, the play that he uh, got injured on, but um, I don't think he can adapt. You know, his play to try to avoid injury. I just don't think it works that way. He's just got to play, and he's been healthy. You know, in his college career, and, um, just kind of a random random deal. Uh, with the center position kind of changing up a little bit and uh, with all of the injuries, um, is there sort of a push-pull between weighing continuity versus matchups each night? Uh, no. No, we've played center by committee um, for the last few years, really. Um, and I'm very comfortable putting any of those guys in. Uh, Zaza will will still make a difference for us this year, and he'll make an impact. Um, tonight was not a night for him based on matchups. Um, Javel had a nice night, um, and I thought Looney came in, did a great job in that uh, that third and fourth quarter with his defense. Um, the fourth quarter with his uh, switching defense, it was one of the highlights of the game. So I feel very confident in all of our centers and and in their ability to adapt. Um, and play whatever role we offer them. Well, maybe I missed it, but um, it appeared at least the first couple, first half of the game that you didn't get much going on offense other than Steph. I yeah. mean, was it was that an accurate assessment? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I didn't expect to come out um, blazing, you know, g given that we were coming off the trip and a couple of days off. Sometimes it takes a little while to get going, um, but we did, you know, late late in that first quarter, and Steph went nuts. But uh, yeah, it wasn't it, the first half. We didn't really execute very well, and. Um, didn't get much going other than, than Steph on the high screens and stuff. So it um, wasn't a great night for us offensively, but I thought uh, the key to the game to me was that uh, the defense to start the fourth quarter with that unit with Looney and Draymond, um, Clay, Sean, and Andre. I thought they were tremendous, uh, really took control of the game. And that's what we were searching for that we couldn't find in the first half, that, that sort of um, traction defensively where you really let a team know, you know, that that you're coming. The first half, we just kind of traded baskets.